What is going on guys? It's a wanted turtle and today we are wrapping up our Magic the Gathering Ravnica Allegiance box. War of the Spark is so close uh, and we timed it pretty nicely so that we can wrap things up right in time for War of the Spark and we can pick up with War of the Spark depending on how quickly I get my boxes. Um, so we're going to wrap up this box. Just a reminder, the card that we pulled in this box was none other than the best card in the set, Hydroid Crisis. So while we can't pull that one anymore, there are still tons of Shocklands to pull as well as other great mythics. Um, War of the Spark guys, get excited. If you're excited, let me know by hitting that like button down below and tell me in the comment what you're most looking forward to. What is the card that you want the most? And uh, let's get into this opening. Alright guys, I'm so excited for War of the Spark. I uh, wish we could do that opening right now. However, we have some Ravnica Legions to wrap up. We're looking for her. That is the, the one we're going for just because we already got that Hydra Crisis. Um, I guess it's theoretically possible to pull a foil one, but although we did do that for Dominaria, so it is possible, guys. Uh, but uh, so we'll settle for Kaya. <laughs> All right. As always, let's go through some commons to start. We got some vampires, sages, rose savant, a recluse, knight of sorrows. That's pretty cool. A Rakdos trumpeter, trumpeter. Open the gates, portal, a final payment, a Rakdos locket, blade juggler, very nice, a dagger caster, a high alert, a cavalcade, the calamity, Rakdos stuff is so weird, and then a guardian project. So if, if you ever played Borderland, what Rakdos reminds me of is like if you took the Psychos from Borderland and then had them all in a circus. And that is what Rakdos is. Alright, let's go through one more pack of comments. We got a Scorch Mark. A Bring the Bring to Trial. Big giant. A Thought Collapse. A Rubber Belt Runner. Stony Strength. Undercity's Embrace, Burning Free Vandal, Burning Tree Vandal, a Arrow Monculus, Simic stuff is also strange, Rakdos Locket again, a Chill Bringer, Frilled Mystic for the Uncommon, Junk Troller, Incubation in Incongruity, and then Amplifier. Come on. Amplify, that reminds me of a card that uh, Electro Dominance, I feel like people were really excited about that card. I feel like when it first released, the thing was like $10, and now it's more like a couple bucks. So that one was pretty disappointing, and it's very surprising that it didn't amount to much. It seems very, on paper, it feels very strong. All right, let's see, we got a Gateway Sneak, a Cult Gill Mage, Tower Defense, and then Cinder Vines. I feel like Cinder Vines, this is, this is one that's uh, less so compared to like Electro Dominus, but I feel like this card just sounds pretty good. Especially if you're just like a burn deck, whenever your opponent casts a non-creature spell, deal one damage to it. And then you can sacrifice it for one, destroy target, artifact or enchantment, and then deal two damage to them. So it, it kind of has like some utility in, built into it. And it's just like, well, uh, not deal a lot of damage, but for only two mana and have like a passive, passive damage source. Um, I feel like that's very good. All right, persistent petitioners, nice. For the uncommons, we're looking for light up the stage and terramander primarily. We got a wayfinder. Tropic, gosh. Uh, I guess this, even though this is a black, just a black card, I'm pretty. That's that's got to be Rakdos. And then a Tin Street Dodger and N Rays Forerunners. All right, so far nothing too crazy, and so far in the previous openings we've been super light on the shock land. So we're hoping for we got to get at least two more, and we want the uh, the breeding pool. That's the one we want the most. 
We got Sphinx of New Prov, Spire Mangler, Clan Guild Mage, and then Mirror March. That's a dud. All right, guys, our our backdrop is empty still. We're probably like almost halfway through the box or through the through the opening, so we gotta pick it up. Angelic Exaltation, Sentinel's Mark. That's like that uh, mark on the, on the box, and then a Smelt Ward Ingus, Immolation Shaman. All right. Oh my gosh. This. Some of these arts are absolutely insane. What is going on here? That's crazy. All right. Pontilus, pitiless Pontiff. Flames of the Raised Boar. Bedevil. Very nice. Very solid pickup right there. And this, I feel like this probably will go up with, um, with all the Planeswalkers. Just to have the more uh, anti Planeswalker, probably the better. Not sure what that's at right now, but I feel like before it was like at ten dollars. I feel like with War of the Spark, it can only go up, right? Unless War of the Spark has his own Planeswalker hate, but if the Devil already exists, I kind of doubt it. We got a Frilled Mystic, Regenesis, Spirit of the Spines. Ooh, so let's say where's our Mythics, and we got a real dud. Emergency powers for seven. Each player shuffles their hand, then draws a new card. Basically, you kind of like start over as far as your hands go. Combine the graveyards. If you cast a spell during your main phase, you may put a permanent card with converted mana cost seven or less. Ugh. We'll put it up here. Whoops. But that is not a good one. Yeah, let's get a planeswalker. Oh, we're, we're prepping for War of the Spark. Where's all the planeswalkers? All right, we got a Guardian, Tin Street Dodger, Forbidding Spirit, and then Unbreakable Formation. I like the art of this card. Like, just like Phalanx things, I feel like they're always pretty cool. All right. We got the Screaming Shield. A clan guild mage, cascade cat, oh, cavalcade. Ooh, blood crypt. There we go. That is a very good shockland to get. I feel like we've only gotten two shocklands, so I would expect one more from these last two bat packs. And uh, yeah, I feel like we're due for at least one more mythic as well. So have high hopes or high expectations for these last two packs. We got a gateway sneak, Geyer engineer, resolute watchdog, and then boom, tight taker. That's the one that uh, um, I bought a bunch of these, expecting it would amount to something, but it did not. Hmm. All right, light light on uh, mythics, light on uh, shocklands for the box. However, we did get the hydroid crisis, so maybe it kind of equals out. So not a home run box, but very good box, or I would say a solid box. A Dovin's Acuity, Scrambling Claws, and then for our last pack, guys, boom! Oh my gosh, a split card, I'm not even going to look at it. Alright, so uh, weak on the weak side for this opening, but for the box, uh, just I feel like the box kind of um, was solid overall. Um, but it's okay because War of the Spark, hopefully we get it very soon, guys. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Expect a lot of openings on this channel with for that new set. It's absolutely crazy. There's uh, War of Spark, Unbroken Bond, just so much coming out. There's a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh sets coming out. So many cards to open. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that sub button. There's going to be tons of content coming out for the month of May. Get excited. Uh, as always, thanks for watching guys. I'm a Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!